Hey guys, Money Melissa here again, back for another video. Um, so I was reading an article uh, for Prevention Magazine the other day, um, which I do from time to time. I like to keep current on all the fitness magazines and just what is being put out there. Um, it's important for me as a personal trainer to know not just what I think, but what others think too, and also um, when clients are coming to me and they're asking me questions about, well, this magazine said this, um, I'm prepared to say, no, nah, that is a load of malarkey. And that is precisely what I encountered. Um, and I can guarantee that if you have been in the fitness world for a year or more that you have heard this theory. Um, and it's the theory of the three somatotypes or body types. Um, endomorph, ectomorph, mesomorph, um, and on its face, it seems to make some semblance of sense, basically that people metabolize differently. Um, some are naturally thin and lean, um, and others tend to be more muscular and large, and some metabolize somewhere in between. Uh, it seems to make some, some bit of sense. Um, I think that's why it's lasted so long. Um, but it's bullshit. It's total bullshit. It's based on nothing scientific whatsoever. Um, it's actually rooted in psychology, um, which, if you guys recall, that is my first degree psychology, so um, that's why I know a little bit about this. It was actually um, the 1940s William Herbert Sheldon came up with this theory of the three body types. Um, and he did this by studying many, many nude photographs of men um, and ascribing a number to each of their body types based on how it made him feel. I'm going to just let that sink in for you because if that sounds like any type of scientific research methodology to you, you got some issues, because th that ain't good. Um, psychology as a whole has actually rejected this theory um, because of the, the poor research, and basically there's just really no basis for it. Um, and actually the, the terms endo, ecto, and meso, he theorized came from um, the layers of the human embryo and that they would influence our personality. Malarkey, just malarkey. I don't even know what to say about it. But it says something about the fitness industry as a whole that while psychology has rejected this as being non-scientific and not really rooted in any sort of scientific fact whatsoever, it's it's pervaded in the fitness industry. And I think that says a lot about the low standard of science that is required um, within the fitness industry. And this article in Prevention Magazine was written by an exercise physiologist. I'm not gonna name names, but ideally this is somebody that has an education and should know their shit, clearly doesn't. Um, but this is something that we commonly accept in the fitness industry. We accept this low level of scientific standards. Um, you wouldn't go to your doctor and take a medication um, unless you knew that it had been tested scientifically and been proven to work, that you knew how it interacted in the body, things of that nature. You wouldn't go to a chiropractor if you didn't know that there were good results for um, the treatment that you were going to receive. But when it comes to fitness, all that seems to go out the window and we go based off, um, well, it sounds reasonable, so I guess it must be true, um, regardless of whether or not there's actual solid scientific research. And this is a perfect example of that. Um, it's just nonsensical and the fact that it's lasted so long is sad and the fact that I hear so many fitness professionals referring to these three somatotypes, the three body types as fact 
um, is really troubling and um, very sad. And if you personally believe this as either um, a fitness amateur or a fitness professional, I I'm not harboring you know, any ill will towards you or saying anything negative about you. Um, because when people you trust say something and you trust that they should know their shit, such as this exercise physiologist in um, a health magazine, of course you're going to believe it. Um, but somewhere along the way, we need to hold ourselves to a higher standard um, scientifically and start rejecting things that aren't based on fact um, and leaning more towards um, solid scientific research and evidence-based practice, my personal two cents. But anyway, so I want to talk about the fact that this does make some kind of bit of sense. Um, let's just reject that malarkey as a whole, but it does make a little bit of sense. We do know that we metabolize things differently. Um, I'm not saying that isn't true. That's clearly true. But the fact that somebody dropped everybody into three buckets, um, what's to say there's three categories? Maybe there's two. Maybe there's five. If you ask me, for every person on the face of this planet, that's how many metabolism types there are. We all know that person that um, is just naturally lean and can eat as much as they want. We know that person. And we know that person that has been lifting weights for a month and suddenly they are just built. It happens. Um, we all have these unique genetic components. Um, and even science doesn't, doesn't understand the complexities of everything. So for us to say that there is one metabolism type and one way that we process nutrients and that we metabolize them into our body is just nonsense. Um, clearly, there are a million nuances that we don't know about. Um, so my question is, is, what's the benefit of putting them into these three buckets? There isn't one. You need to learn about your metabolism, what works for you and your body type. Because the way you metabolize things is not going to be the way person A, B, C, D, ad infinitum does. Um, we know this when it comes to diabetes. People with diabetes metabolize sugar differently. They can't process it. That's not true for everybody. Same with lactose. There's a million things. Some people are more carb sensitive than others. Um, you have to figure out what works for you. And focusing on these three categories, these three buckets, well, I'm in this one, it really doesn't help you understand the nuances of nutrition, of fitness. And to me, it's really just holding us back. So even though there's some grain of truth that yes, all bodies metabolize things differently, um, the actual theory of the three body types is nonsense, not rooted in science, not rooted in fact, and really not benefiting anything because it's really holding you back from looking at the millions of nuances that there are. Um, and I would love to talk about the different nuances in the future, but that is a topic for another day. I really just wanted to dispel this myth because um, as somebody who is a bit of a science nerd and um, loves fitness and loves nutrition, it makes me kind of angry when I see such bad science out there in the fitness field. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to finish my coffee and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye.